Hi, I hope you're having a great Thanksgiving holiday. I wanted to get together and um, just kind of post a video to get us to, um, from today to the end of the class, just in terms of assignments and content and readings and things. And so let me go ahead and just jump right in and I'll get it off to you. And then if you have questions, you can fire me out an email and we'll touch base. I'm, I'm actually in um, Vegas this next week for Amazon's reInvent. And so everybody who uses AWS, seriously for the cloud is I'm going to be attending and there's anticipating 50,000 um, Amazon users at this conference. So it should be interesting. So I'll be available via, via email for most of the week and then we we'll probably try to schedule, schedule something for late one evening. Okay, so for the week of November 25th through December 1st, um, we're going to be looking at trade secrets. And so chapter two of your book um, does a uh, really good deep dive with respect to um, trade secrets. And then um, after you read the chapter, I want you to work on a paper that's five to eight pages in length um, that looks at intellectual property theft, but specifically kind of targeting China. So you can set the stage for um, what trade secrets are, what intellectual property is, what intellectual property theft is, and then maybe do a dive into um, China and that should easily um, get you to five to eight pages pretty quick. And then also um, we'll then do a Zoom um, presentation um, where you just kind of do a summary of your paper and you can put, post a link to that. And I'll, I'll give you links in the classroom so you can upload your assignment as well and then um, upload a link to the um, PowerPoint. So that kind of takes care of next week. Um, the week of December 2nd through December 8th, um, we're going to look at chapter three of your book, which is on patent law. And then we're going to go through the process of um, creating a provisional patent. And a provisional patent um, buys us about a year of protection as we're going through the process um, before we raise capital and things and can actually afford lawyers to knock out a real patent. And the provisional patent steps in. And so I want you to do a five to eight, eight page paper on what a provisional patent is, how to go about doing it, and then actually I'm um, download the paperwork and um, assume that you're submitting a patent for a mobile app or um, some other idea that you had and then um, work on it. And when you're done with the paper again, we'll do kind of a five to 10 minute presentation overview of your paper's contents. <coughs> Then the week of December 9th through the 13th, and I think classrooms through the 14th, and so I put a 13th, but it comes in the 14th, that, that works as well. We're going to take a look at chapter five of your book, which is on trademark law. And again, I'll have you put together a paper that is an overview of what trademark law is. And then how do I go about doing a um, trademark and so from having a TM following something to having the R within the circle following something what's the difference how do I get to both and then maybe do a sample filing of a logo or something that um, you've come up with and again we'll do a presentation in zoom um, they want us to use collaborate but I tried to fire off collaborate from the classroom tonight and got a series of um, errors and so if we can get it working we'll do collaborate if not we'll do zoom for the presentation and then finally for a final project for this course um, we'll put together a paper that just kind of has a series of checklists that you would hand off to somebody if they were going to be filing for a copyright if they were going to file a provisional patent if they're going to do a trademark um, and so just kind of introduce what each kind con of concept is assume that you're um, just starting out a new job and they're getting ready to do these things and they've asked you for recommendations and so explain what a copyright is, explain what a provisional patent is, explain what a trademark is, following each one of those explanations and have your check marks of the steps that they need to perform to actually do and process one. And that'll be due December 13th, um, probably the day before the course ends. And so um, let me go ahead and save this and get it out to you. And if you're traveling or anything before then, um, let me know and we'll kind of work it out. Otherwise, we'll try and just run by the dates shown here. Um, but by um, doing this, we're going to actually cover all the content of the book, which is cool because um, it's got some good stuff in it. And we'll cover the major concepts that you um, 
should have some good understanding of, and that's copyrights, trademarks, patents, um, intellectual property, and intellectual property theft. So I think we'll do a good job of kind of pulling things together. So I'm going to post this, and I'll shoot you an email and let you know what the link exists. So I, again, I hope you're having an awesome holiday, and I'll see you in the classroom.